Okay, this is the second part of a two-part video series. My name is Leslie Williams. I am in San Diego, California, and this is a three-part video series. Each of the three-part video series will have identical titles, except for at the very end of the, each title, it will have a number, one, two, and three pertaining to the first video, the second video, and the third video. So when you look in the description of this YouTube video, if there's not YouTube titles in the description of this YouTube video that will show you the titles of the uh, first and third video, all you got to do is copy and paste this YouTube title and add either a one or a three at the end of it. And you'll be able to bring up video number one and video number three. I am in San Diego, California. This is a continuation of the statements in reference to the theme of the first video, so you can get an inter uh, so you can get a uh, an understanding concerning what this, these three videos are about. Now, once they create the homelessness of a targeted individual, the targeted individual is kept homeless, covertly managed. That's right. I was reading one PDF uh, documentation file online by an Erica Dean Gilmore, who is a California target, and you can find her freedom from covert harassment and surveillance. Freedom F. Let's see, it's uh, Freedom From Covert, so that would be From FCHS, Freedom FCHS, uh, uh, dot com, I guess. Uh, Erica Dean Gilmore, it's a PDF link. Now, she's got a PDF documentation file online right now concerning how they, cre how they co creatively, covertly created the homelessness of her by intentionally, they intentionally flooded her apartment because I've read other targeted individuals' blogs who stated they did the same thing with them. And they did that to make it appear that the city inspector had a, a, a normal appearing reason to evict her. She then left that apartment and attempted to rent other apartments and all the other landlords that she applied uh, for those apartments at told her no. Then one time she went in to recheck on one of the applications of a new apartment and the manager told her that a guy had approached him and told him not to rent to her. Because one of the main methodologies of gang stalking is to create the homelessness and then keep it managed. That's right. Now, uh, the targeted individual is gang stalked at their apartment building, they're gang stalked to motel rooms, and they're gang stalked to hiking areas. They're gang stalked along all the routes at all businesses, all universities, all public libraries, and all transportation services, and even when they're walking up and down the street. They're even gang stalked at a hiking area. Where I'm sitting at right now, I've been hiking at for 13 full months. And the reason why I am hiking is I, I got sick of running apartments and being gang stalked to them, and then eventually evicted for total, complete bullshit reasons. And the last apartment I had, they literally stole the rent out of the mail, rent that was mailed, certified mail return receipt, which means that the receipt for the envelope of the money order that was mailed to the property owner was never signed for, which means that the post office would have had legal custody of that check. Now, you can go to Google right now and type in organized stalking or gang stalking and mail theft and mail delayment and or postal workers. Hold on a second. Now, when the targeted individual is harassed along all their routes and even assaulted, even raped, harassed where staged events occur and the police are called either by the target, the perpetrators who are who are bringing about the event, who are acting like they're just <coughs> uh, part of the event for another reason. And when an event trans when they bring about an event towards a target, which are called street theaters and gang stalking expeditions, they will also stage the witnesses, using anybody, a business manager, a business employee, a university staff member, a student, that's right, a security guard of a business plaza, a public library manager or employee, or, or, or an individual coming in pretending to be a, a public library patron. Because as a result of the surveillance of the target, that's where that's how they know where the target's at. And then what they do as a result of them knowing where the target's at, they stage events around the target, concerning the target, and then blame the target for the event. This is done for multiple motivations. It's at least done to cause extreme mental duress, physical abuse, including rapes and assaults. And it's also done to possibly have the police called so they can come out bait the target to open up about what's happening and if the target knows that what's happening to them is gang stalking and as the events transpiring the perpetrators will literally even do things overtly for the target to either see or hear to let them know that what's happening to them is because of gang stalking and then that way when the police come the target will be so frustrated that the police will come out and say what's going on the target will say well I know this person's involved in gang stalking that was the reason why the question was asked so the police can then turn around and make an incident report that the target's delusional or arrest them or 
put them in county mental health or an area neighborhood hospital psychiatric floor. Now, remember what I said to you in reference to how they will stage an event and then call you crazy. And, uh, oh no, I'm sorry. Remember how I said they'll stage an event and then covertly let you know that it's because of gang stalking. While they'll deny it or leave the scene before the police arrive. Now, if you're lucky enough, you'll be able to catch one or two of them admitting to you that they were deliberately put along your path, like I have. I've literally caught them in at, at least four separate people, no, maybe five, on five separate dates admitting they were put in my physical proximity to engage in gang stalking. That's right. That's not including the 800 separate audio files I have of individuals getting around me on a daily basis saying gang stalking. And that's being done to remind me that I'm a victim of this crime, uh, to taunt me about it, to make me feel victimized concerning it, and to make me feel powerless about it. That's right. Now, uh, uh, what I'm about to do right now, just to give you a preliminary introduction in reference to letting you know that they intentionally will get along my route and harass me and even threaten me, and do or say things to let me know it's because of gang stalking is just real simply for you to listen to this. Do these guys say gang stalk, gang stalking, and gang is stalking, I'm going to F you up as they're harassing me and threatening me. Gang is stalking, I'll F you up. Now, another thing they do around me along, and these two individuals intentionally came along my route on that, on that day. That's right, intentionally. That's right. And one of them has been used on anywhere between 8 and 11 separate occasions to, to, um, to uh, harass me. And why would the San Diego make, uh, police make a police report concerning it? Now, after they create the homelessness of a target, they keep the homelessness created and continued by following the target and, and watching what the target does. If a target again goes to a, a motel room, they'll gang stalk them to there. They'll collude with the property manager, probably by uh, flashing a badge and saying and lying to them and saying that the target's under investigation and that they need to be able to gain access to the room that's next to a target so they can keep the target up all night by being loud, banging on the wall, uh, uh, Everything that they will do is done to make the targeted individual individual feel that no matter where they go, they're never going to have any peace. Okay, and that's the that's done to cause the targeted individual to leave the motel room to go to another one, and then the same thing happens. Gang stalking, ganging up on you to stalk you. Okay, and then if the targeted individual decides to try and run another apartment through the observation and tracking of the target, they know it. They do the same thing with the same uh, with, the, with the next manager. They'll approach the manager show, and show them a fake criminal investigation file. A fake bogus criminal investigation file and that can be Googled. And then they tell a lie about the target and then flash a badge, whether it be a real one or a fake one. And then they tell the, that property owner not to run to that person because they're under criminal investigation either at the federal, state, or local level. This is intentionally done. It's a scheme. It's a, it's a maneuver to keep the homelessness created. And this is done so the events can be brought about against the targeted individual out and about in the community anywhere. Businesses, universities, public libraries, transportation services, sidewalks, anywhere. Bus stops, bus routes, trolley stations, trolley routes, anywhere. So the police reports and incident reports can be accumulated over time. They then stage a huge event. Okay, and the police will say, well, we've already had too many dealings with you, and you're still claiming you're being stalked by people you don't know. And that sounds like you're delusional, so maybe we better put you in a county mental health or an area neighborhood hospital psychiatric floor. That's right, because that is a direct method of gang stalking. It's all over the Internet. Just Google it. That's right, and that is done for the falsified doctor reports and the insurance fraud. Then, over time, when this repeats itself again because of future staged events, they take the accumulated police reports, incident reports, and doctor reports to petition the state to take, to take legal custody of the target, probate custody, in order to call out their existing finances, to put the target in a group home where the, where the torture and the gang stalking continues, 
where the target is harassed in these homes and the same of events transpire now in an isolated environment where the target is blamed for the events and then repetitioned back into the area neighborhood hospital psychiatric floors under the excuse that they were the cause of the event and that they got to go into the hospital to get on medication because they're out of control. And this is done for the continued insurance fraud. That's right. And the target is also sexually exploited while they're sleeping in these homes, including having their food and drinks drugged. And while they're knocked out, they bring men in to have the target sex with the target while they're knocked out to pay off syndicated members with sex. And it's also done for voyeurism and pornography. I'm in San Diego, California. This is nothing but torture and sexual exploitation for money, insurance fraud, and uh, finance co-opting by taking syndicated probate control. The targeted individual is watched every day inside these homes to make sure they never break free. That's right, and if they do break free and run to a neighbor's house, either the members of the, of the syndicated group home will call the police and the syndicated cop will come out and arrest the target. That's right. Or what they'll do is even collude with neighbors. That's right. You can go to YouTube right now and type in gang stalking bullying on steroids to see that targeted individual being gang stalked by his neighbors. I'm in San Diego, California. My name is Leslie Williams. So, what I'm trying to do for you is to explain to you one just one, actually three, three rolled into one, motivations of, 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 of why an organized stalking, gang stalking target is picked. And then the methodologies used to put them in isolated environments for exploitation that the targeted individual can never escape from because they're syndicated to judges, prosecutors, probate attorneys, lawyers, and police officers, firefighter, fire department EMS, and doctors in neighborhood area hospitals, along with nurses and administrative staff. It's organized crime in a system that has syndicated members out within the communities. Doctors, lawyers, judges, police officers, firefighters. That's right. Now, if you, and then you might think to yourself, well, how can anybody that's a gang stalking target be harassed by the business community? Go to Google and type in the community notification of gang stalking and slander. That's right. You can go to Google right now and type in organized stalking or gang stalking in businesses, universities, libraries, public libraries, colleges, libraries, colleges. That's right. Because what the police have are certain resource tools like the community notification, the offenders notification, and the sexual offenders notification that they're illegally and criminally putting completely 100% complete innocent human beings on in order to make it appear that they have a legitimate reason to solicit community members to harass a target for them because and and to when they're needed behave in a cooperating relationship when a staged event needs to be brought about against the target in order to ban the target from the library because the library is where the targets using the internet to YouTube and Google and blog what's happening to them and how it's happening to them and who's playing a role in it. That's exposing the perpetrators and they don't want it. So they create, they use these law enforcement tools, put illegally put innocent people on them in order to get the community at large to cooperate with the police and then stage events at these places to use these event, events as normal appearing means to ban the target from the place, whether it be a business, public library, college, university, transportation service, any business. That's right. That's right. And you really honestly think for one second that any business is going to get themselves involved in what might truly be happening to a targeted individual? Of course not. And fellow employees can be gang stalked by their fellow employees and management. Except when a gang stalking is happening towards an employee at a business, it's called work mobbing. Google it. I'm in San Diego, California. My name is Leslie Williams. Please look in the description of this YouTube video for a YouTube for two YouTube titles and also possibly additional cooperative material so you can witness the factual realities of these criminal expeditions so you can know what's factually and actually happening to me in San Diego County. I'm a good woman. I appreciate you listening and have a nice day.